and Andrew Young came together as co-hosts for this forum, combining the civil rights, civil rights, and civil rights. Can you explain or expound on what civil civil rights is? Uh, yes, yeah, civil rights, as I said earlier, was waging one in the streets. Civil rights will be waging one in the suites. Civil rights is about race and the color line. And civil rights is about class and poverty. We got to stop arguing, poor people, struggling people, over stupid stuff. Uh, if you deal with class, you get race for free. Uh, the reality is, if you're living in New York City and you make $70,000 a year, you are struggling to make ends meet. Somebody's here from New York, you know what I'm talking about. And I don't care what color you are, it's struggling. If you're living in Atlanta, Georgia and making, help me out, $40,000, $50,000 a year. Middle class, but you're struggling to make ends meet. You're living in a small town, Columbus, Georgia, $30,000 a year. You are struggling to make ends meet. So whether you're white, black, red, brown, or yellow, you want to see some more green. We're arguing about the wrong color. The color, at least in America, is green. Uh, the problem in the world is poverty. People need jobs. And once you have a job and you resolve poverty, most all other problems begin to solve themselves. Eric Garner was killed trying to sell single cigarettes in New York. If he had a storefront in an enclosed facility with a, built, with a, with a permit to operate, they'd have left him alone. But he, I mean, they still should have left him alone, but he was just selling cigarettes. He wasn't, wasn't robbing anybody. He wasn't, he wasn't thugging. He was just trying to sell some cigarettes, and they just thought he had been out there too long, too many times. Give him a, give him a, a, a ticket, send him on his way. But, but if you think about all these issues, underneath all of them are economic uh, and financial problems. Uh, Mohammed in Tunisia, people say the Arab Spring was about Islamic extremism. That's a lie. The, the Arab Spring was a guy named Mohammed in Tunisia who had a cart business, and his cart business didn't have a permit. So the authorities, I'm not going to call them law enforcement, uh, pulled his cart in and said, we're going to take the cart from you. He said, well, how do I get a permit? He said, there is no permit. Translation, I'm in charge of your life. He lost hope, went outside, and right before he set himself, set himself on fire, he said one thing. Now, here's the question. Was it, I hate America? No. Was it, I hate the West? No. Was it, I, I want to pray to Allah? No. Was it calling for a jihad? No. He said, I just want to work. And he set himself on fire, and that caused the Arab Spring. So you can, all around the world, uh, all around the world, you've got economic concerns that undergird these other concerns and then cause people to lose hope. And they then take on sort of radical, uh, uh, radical elements. We need to respect everybody, uh, and we need to understand everybody has a right for self-determination. That's, that's what civil Thank rights are so about. Much. She's trying to get me to shut up. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you so much.